At times, the scale is overwhelming. I mean, we participate in every major city, every continent, everywhere I can go. I know that sports has an impact. One of the things we hear all the time is how great it is to run on grass. So we just said, well, what if you actually married fake grass on the bottom of your shoe? And it's, it's not a real shoe, but it's this sort of wonder experiment about like, hey, where can we take cushioning? I'm incredibly excited to have this enduring brand of the NBA, you know, decades old, meet this innovation brand of Nike and come together. Our process in designing the jersey is kind of a case study of the way that I think we design. Typically, we will start lots of our design work with intel from the NSRL, Nike Sports Research Lab. We try and understand the movements of the athletes, the forces that are on their body, and how the footwear or the product that we put on them affects their motion. One of the things that's most important when you're looking at different sports or different athletes is to make sure that we can recreate the environment that they're going to play the game in. We can change temperature and humidity in this environment from very hot to very cold and very dry to very humid. We try and understand what are those drivers that make you say I'm uncomfortable. It might not be how much you're sweating, it might be how the apparel is reacting or clinging. So we attack a problem that way. People might say, why do you put so much science into it? Athletes in general, we, we say they're getting bigger, stronger, faster. This is one of those things where you can objectively look at that. Data informed design lets us begin in a better place. We start with knowing exactly what those bodies are needing to do, where their friction points are, where their distractions are, and how we can design to literally erase or take away any of those distractions. So this is BRS Studio. Um, this gives us the ability to very quickly bring ideas to reality. From the research, the analytics, it leads us to more of the art part of the equation where we've got to make some decisions based on that data. So if we look at what the maps tell us, we know where the garment has the potential to cling against the skin. We know where the body is heating up during the activity. So we simplify that heat map and that cling map into two zones. And what you see in the area of the red is where we need the material to not stick to the body. And what you see in the lower area is where we need the, the garment to really ventilate. This jersey over here is a really good look at what it looks like before the teams go in and start working through the team identity. The texture has now been engineered into the backside, which is what's going to keep it away from the skin. My personal collection, I've got Vapor Max, I've got the uh, original AJ1s. My current favorite shoe of choice is the Air Max 97. How many pairs are in my closet? That's not a really nice question, I guess. Um, I probably have, at the moment, I would say 120 to 160 pairs, I'd guess. Well, with the Hyperdunk, it's kind of like the shoe that everyone can wear and perform to the highest levels. With the, the new uh, knit direction, we're really tuning around the foot what we need, where we need it. We actually have a design team that's specialist in knit and they'll design all these knit structures um, around the parameters that we're looking for. Here at the end, this is a TPU yarn, so you can see there's zero stretch. And it goes all the way to the top where these yarns, you can see here, the structure really stretches. I have here the LeBron 15. You can see exactly then how we've taken the original kind of swatches and then applied them through the design. Obviously, an athlete like LeBron, he's landing very heavily and he's powering off really fast. So really, heel lock is really important, so we're using this kind of uh, lockdown effect around the heel to really stabilize him, lock him in. When I look at product, you know, I'm looking at, is it better than it was before? Have we improved the ultimate performance for the athlete? And then, is there a cultural, iconic narrative that's baked into the uniform that, that breeds emotion? first time we get to, with the NBA, really compose the entire uniform. Yeah, That's and remarkable. It makes a familiar kit like the Lakers feel, feel fresh. Completely new. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's awesome. 
the smiles that we got from the players when they put that jersey on, they knew um, this is the best thing ever. That's when I think and we know we're done. We believe that they're going to show us whole new chapters of athleticism in the game, take the game someplace new. Can't wait to see it on court.